Today on CJ Off-Road, we're going to show you how to mount your license plate in the center of your tailgate. If you're looking to delete your spare tire and want a place to mount your license plate, today we're looking at this control backside license plate mount fitting your 2007 through 2009 Jeep Wrangler. This license plate bracket is constructed of T304 stainless steel and then powder coated in a textured black finish. It includes lights for both your license plate and your third brake light, plus all of the necessary connectors. The install is super simple and reuses your factory tire carrier bolt, so let's get it installed on our 2008 Jeep Wrangler. Tools needed for this installation, a 3 8 inch ratchet, a half inch socket, a 6 inch extension, basic wiring tools, and a set of pliers. So we're at the back of our 2008 Jeep Wrangler. You can already see that we have our license plate mount removed and our stock spare wheel and tire on the back is removed. So now the first step is we're actually just going to take off these eight bolts that would hold on the factory tire carrier and then we can get started putting on the backside plate. And make sure you hold on to this hardware as you're going to use it to mount the new plate on. Now the backside plate actually utilizes a two-piece design. So this is the first plate that goes on and obviously as you can see this side goes up towards the top of the Jeep. We're going to place that on with just the upper and lower bolts and then we'll mount the license plate to this bracket and get this bolted up to the back. Now we're going to place our license plate onto the bracket here and as you can see we're just using one of our CJ's plates. You'd use your regular license plate to do this. Use the supplied hardware and put the Allen key heads right through the top like this. Makes it easier to do this before you install it because you can't really fit your hands behind there. So we've got the plate installed onto the bracket. Now there are two wires that come out of the back. The one is for the third brake light and the other one is for the license plate light. We're going to tuck this in through the vent that way we can access it later and wire it all up. Now that our plate is all bolted up, we can go to the inside of our Jeep and start working on the wiring. So we've got the tailgate open. We're actually going to remove this trim panel here and this vent piece. That way we can access the wiring and get started on wiring everything up. Okay, now we're going to fish the wiring through one of our holes here. That way we can get it all wired up. Now once the wires are out, make sure to use the right ones when you're connecting them. The shorter wire here is for the third brake light and the longer one is going to be for the running light. We're going to strip back the positive and negative wires on the control side plate and then we're going to actually cut off these two connections for the factory third brake light and tap right into those. Before you do any of this, make sure your battery is disconnected. We're going to use the included butt connectors and we're going to wire up the negative black wire here to the factory gray wire, that's the negative, and then the positive to the factory white wire with the purple stripe. Now that we've got our third brake light connections all finished up, we're going to run our wire inside of the Jeep, tap into the tail light, that way we can get a running light for our license plate light. We'll run our wire along these other wires here and then come back and zip tie it once we're all finished up. Now we can run the wire inside of the Jeep. We're going to use the factory taillight harness and use the black wire and the white wire with the purple indicating stripe. Now the white wire with the purple stripe is going to be our hot for the running light and the black is obviously going to be our ground. We're going to use these splice connectors, that way we don't have to cut this existing harness. It actually wraps around there and we can tuck our new wire into there and connect it all into one. Okay, and now we can place the red wire into this white wire with the purple stripe and the black wire with the existing black wire and clamp everything down. Now that everything's connected, we can see if it works and put everything back together. And your installation is complete.
The control backside plate is completely installed and it looks great. Completely legalized the back of our Jeep end, so we've got the running light and we've got a third brake light. Installation is really simple. The hardest part is actually wiring it up. Now you can find this backside plate and many other great parts for your JK at cjponyparts.com.